students in online lecture session today we have very special program here we have here to celebrate a birth anniversary of great two personalities first one is ma jizao who gave a moral education to his son and built up his character and such king became a great warrior he set up he set up his self governors and gave a self respect to our people of maharashtra means today is the birth anniversary of ma jizao rajmata jizao and second one who gave the message to world of brotherly livelihood and by his life teaching and message he conquered the world through his speeches and such person such great hindu patriotic sant was swami vivekananda so friends today we are going to celebrate the birth anniversary of rajmata jizao and swami vivekananda so through this the life teaching and messages we are going to focus these two characters we are learning we are listening this speech throughout english try to comprehend it now i want to classify this uh, speech into three parts first for the students second for youth and third for all so whatever birth anniversary and date anniversary we celebrate try to understand that why do we celebrate this birth anniversary and date anniversary of such great persons because these great persons this great personality have inspired us throughout the life they dedicated their life for the nation to build up the human society and so we celebrate them we recall them we take the inspiration from this these persons so one thing is very important from their life morality so what is meant by morality so morality gives us inspirations that human value should be inculcated in us and morality is one of these good qualities so how do we develop morality so listen such type of story so there were birds and they wanted to meet to their guru they went to the guru and they asked to guru, guru guru please give us a mantra that no one can kill us no one hunt us we want safe and healthy life that no one will hunt us so guru said guru assured yes yes i will give you such type of mantra you follow that mantra in your life then no hunter will hunt you no one will kill you no one will disturb your life you will enjoy freedom so guru gave one mantra to all the birds so what was that mantra listen carefully hunter will come he will spread his net he will spread the grains but do not eat that grain that was mantra hunter will come he will spread the grain he will spread the net but do not eat that grain so uh, guru asks the birds to repeat the mantra then uh, birds followed the mantra hunter will come he will spread the grain he will spread the net he will spread the grain but do not eat that grain so in this mantra uh, means uh, birds followed that mantra 
but one thing is very important the right understanding is very important there and uh, guru chanted guru chanted this mantra with the help of birds and guru assured him guru warned him that you must follow this mantra but thinking is very important sir birds chanted this mantra time to time time to time whenever they uh, roam in the sky whenever they roam on the trees and next so uh, next day what happened again whenever birds uh, ramble roam towards the sky they chanted same mantra hunter will come he will spread the grain uh, spread the net he will spread the grain but do not eat that do not eat that grain now birds were very happy that guru saved their life but what happened next listen so next day uh, birds ran away for enjoyment they flew in the sky and settled on the tree so at that time one hunter came there he saw that there are many birds on the tree so he observed and he wanted to catch the birds observe that uh, birds were on the tree and this opportunity for us to catch the birds so he uh, spread the he spread the net under the tree birds were watching that uh, net and and after um, a hunter spread the grain and birds also watching that hunter was spreading the grain so a bird repeated that mantra guru gave us mantra what is that mantra so hunter will come he will spread the net he will spread the grain but do not eat that grain so right understanding was very important at the time so means uh, what happened means uh, intelligence development did not then um, did not was there and uh, that's why birds became greedy to eat that grain all the birds all the birds uh, came down to the net and so what happened same at the time they are they started to pick up the grains they started to eat the grains so while they were eating the grain same mantra they were chanting so what was that mantra hunter will come they he will spread the net he will spread the grain but do not eat that grain so next uh, means uh, development was uh, remain so what was that development means mano vikas means right thinking um right thinking was very important at the time birds chanted that mantra they did not understood carefully and second one they did not think on it that what is the meaning of that mantra and so they started to eat that grain they did not aware of that uh, trap which was spread by the hunter so second one is means mental development is also very important means mano vikas means right thinking so whatever we get the knowledge from our guru we must think on it and last one is what happened hunter came and who was uh, hid hid himself among the trees he came and he saw that 
the most of birds were trapped in that net he collected all the birds in his net and go back to the go back to the home and so what happened while the while um, uh, birds were carrying through the hunter so same thing was happen birds also chanted that mantra what was that mantra hunter will come he will spread the net he will spread the grain but do not eat that grain throughout the way birds chanted same mantra so third one is very important bhav vikas means healthy motion whatever whatever mantra given by the guru you trust to that mantra whatever teaching given by the guru you must trust to your guru and his teaching and such type of healthy emotions right thinking and right understanding could do our great shivaji our great uh, great shivaji and swami vivekananda and that's why they could they could grow very prominent and uh, spread like a great personality in the world and so students this is the examples of morality so what is meant by morality simple morality means fairness in attitude then second one is clear clear cleanliness in character means our character should be clean morality moral human values should be inculcated in us and third one means absence of hatred jealousy whatever the demerits of human life we must uh, we must destroy from our life these are the these are our speciality of morality now students we are taking the life messages life teaching and messages of swami vivekananda so listen carefully and prepare build up your character like great personality students we celebrate the birth anniversary and death anniversary of a great persons great personalities why do we celebrate this uh, uh, birth anniversary and death anniversary of great persons because these persons and this great personality have dedicated his life for the human society for the nation and that's why we could get opportunity to develop ourselves if there were no great leaders then we will be also uncivilized and we do not get any chance for development so the thinking the life messages life teaching of these great leaders we have to consist we have to follow in our character so first uh, message of swami vivekananda swami ji says be bold and be strong means don't be afraid of any things be strong always keep the strength in your mind you are the potential means each soul is potentially divine so we take education but uh, what is meant by education swami vivekananda says education is not the amount of information that is put in your brain and run rates there means education is not the amount of information it is simply 
says by the Swami Yukanan, we want that education by which the character is formed. Means, we want a full personality development because of our education. We want that education by which the character is formed. Means our character is very important in human life. We can achieve wealth, we can achieve health, but if we lose our character, then we can't achieve character again. So, character is very important. Next one, Swami says again, So, man must love others. Learn, learn to love, learn to feel others' love in you, yourself. Because it likes a universal brotherhood. Swami Yakananda preach his message of Vaidik Tattva in America and he became famous because of 9th 11 uh, World Chicago World Religion which was held in Chicago America and by saying the sisters and brothers of America he compared the words he means who were the present there they were fascinated by the speech of Swami Yatananda because Throughout these words, they thought that this person is our brother, this person is our countryman. So, he could achieve the success because of his message. Next one. So, whenever we learn anything, at the time, first of all, we frighten. We do not make the daring to do that things. So Swami Ji says, anything that you mix weak physically, mentally and spiritually, avoid as a poison. Whatever you makes you weak means uh, Avoid as a poison. That cannot be true. So, every time, try to speak truly. Don't uh, deceive others. Love others. And through this message, again Swami Yukanan says, In this world, always take the position of giver. Always take the position of giver. Whatever you have, knowledge or wealth or whatever help, you help to others, you give to others. Because service to man means service to God. Swami Vivekananda preach his knowledge. Shiva Bhave Jiva Seva. So, for the youth, Swami Yavakanan says that his soul is potentially divine. You are the God. You are the gifted by the God. All the things in the world are, is, are full of God. So, each soul is potentially divine. So, respect the God and respect the each and every things. Next, Swami Vivekananda says that we want such persons who conquer the words. We want such young persons who conquer the words by their deeds, by their words. Because bold words and bolder deeds can achieve the success whatever we want bold words and bolder deeds 
are achieve the success whatever we want and again swami vivekananda give the give the examples of a learning as a brave because you are the you are the cub of lions so don't frighten you have a potential you have a power to achieve any success so um removing the fear from human mind means not brooding over the weakness removing fear from the weakness means no not breeding not brooding the weakness over the weakness but thinking of strength if you think of strength then automatically the weakness from your heart will vanish and again swami vivekananda says that when all the desires from the earth will be vanish then the very man will become god means whatever the desires in your, in our human mind or heart because of this desires we do not get satisfaction we want more and more and for this swami vivekananda says that we if the desires from the heart will be vanished then the very man will become a god so students so friends so always think positive because swami vivekananda says that you are the a soul is potential divine and he who whatever our minds are whatever our thoughts are means you are the creator of your own destiny if you think that you are powerful then you are powerful if you think that you are weak then you are weak so you are the creator of your own destiny so think positively think always optimist whenever you do any work so uh, about the duty swami vivekananda says the duty every duty is holy is don't uh, don't neglect that it is poor work it is great work no every duty is holy and devotion to duty is the highest form of worshiping the god every duty is holy and devotion to duty means whatever the dedication you give to your duty how do we sacrifice your life to complete your work it is called the devotion of your duty this is the highest form of worshiping the god means if you do your duty carefully sincerely humbly dedicatedly then you will get the success in that duty so we are what our thoughts have made us now ready to listen one story it is a appeal to youth that uh, how we are we are the cub of lion lions so be brave be feel strength in you uh, within yourself so uh, once there was a pregnant lioness she wanted to hunt and she ran towards the ships so as she took the plunge or jump towards the ship so suddenly her baby cub fell on the ground and she got injured and she died so what happen whatever the cub was born it 
it uh, mingled in the herd of sheep and wherever the sheep goes that cub was also going with them so whatever sheep were eating same cub were uh, cub was also eating same food so in the um, herd of sheep cub grew grew and became a lion but he did not know that uh, he was a lion one day a lion came and wanted to attack sing the herd of sheep and as sheep knew that lion was about to attack to their herd they they ran they ran here and there they ran here and there so lion followed that those sheep and among the those sheep there he means lion found that there was a lion same like us so that lion was also um, running by seeing the lion so he stopped that lion that baby and stopped that baby and lion wanted to talk with him hey why are you why are you running you are me means you are our category don't run don't frighten but that lion that baby lion needs also doing be 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 so you means uh, young, that uh, old lion try to try to reconcile him try to console him that don't frighten i am your father you are in our category you are lion but same thing was happened that younger lion was doing be 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 because because that lion that baby lion grew in the um, in the herd of sheep so he became sheep he uh, behave like a sheep so but when old lion try to console him try to make surety that you are lion but uh, younger lion did not listen him so by getting annoyed old lion caught his neck and stretched him to the water and showed his replica showed his means uh, image in the water see who are you and who are i see i am lion and you are also lion so i am the king of forest you are also king of forest you are not sheep you are lion so when younger lion younger lion saw his image in the water he came to know that i am lion i am the king of forest so i am not sheep so by this message swami vivekananda showed to the youth that all the powers within yourself just you have to open and reveal your powers because what we are our thoughts have made us so think positively introspect yourself so once again there uh, one uh, story of swami ji's life i am going to tell you about the meditation about the concentration power so uh, when swami ji was in his room so sarat chandra chatterjee was his fellow he went uh, to his room and saw that uh, there were a lot of 
encyclopedia of britannica in his room so there means uh, when shri chandra chatterjee saw that there are many books and uh, when will swami ji read this book so he asked swami ji swami ji there are a lot of books and when you have time to complete this and re- this reading so swami ji answered that almost all book i have read it so chatterjee became surprised how how did you finish almost all books so i haven't seen you the while you, you were reading so swami ji told him you can test me so take this britannica encyclopedia and ask me any question throughout this so his I means fellow took this book and asked same questions regarding me any page so what happened all questions was asked by the chatter ji swami ji gave correct oh, totally correct answer of this of that questions which was asked by his fellow so sharat chandra chatter ji surprise it is miracle miracle but swami ji says no it is not miracle it is the power of concentration it is the power of concentration so students so youngs means you also develop the power of concentration if you develop the power of concentration then you can finish your 10 hours study within 1 hours and if you have no concentration power of concentration if you can't concentrate your mind then for 1 hour study you have to take 1 uh, 10 hours also you can't because whenever we learn whenever you study from your book your um, your eyes are on the book but your mind have other means it can concentrate so first thing is very important to learn everything that power of concentrate or concentrate your mind if you concentrate your mind then you can finish your study within a time and this power of concentration leads to you success in each and every sector each and every field so um for encouraging the youth swami ji again says that take up one idea make that idea your life think of it dream of it and live make the life make that idea your life so if you take up one idea and you pass through that idea then you will get success in your life and again swami ji says that whatever work you have faith on that work because the history of world is the history of a few men who have faith themselves means this history has created by those persons those great persons who had faith themselves so faith yourselves this is the message of god with you if you if you have faith yourself um, swami ji again says if you faith 33 crore gods and if you do not have faith even yourself then there is no success in your life but if you faith in yourself then you will get success because it is the mantra of your success so try to faith in yourself and uh, think positively whenever you do any activity any work because through this story swami you can appeal to the youth that all the powers within yourself just you have to 
open and reveal your powers because what we are our thoughts have made us so think positively introspect yourself so once again there uh, one uh, story of swami ji's life i am going to tell you about the meditation about the uh, concentration power so uh, when swami ji was in his room so sarat chandra chatterjee was his fellow he went uh, to his room and saw that uh, there were a lot of encyclopedia of britannica in his room so there means uh, when shri chandra chatterjee saw that there are many books and uh, when will swami ji read this book so he asked swami ji swami ji there are a lot of books and when you have time to complete this and re- this reading so swami ji answered that almost all book i have read it so chatter ji became surprised how how did you finish almost all books so i haven't seen you the while you you were reading so swami ji told him you can test me so take this britannica encyclopedia and ask me any question throughout this so his I means fellow took this book and asked same questions regarding me any page so what happened all questions was asked by the chatter ji swami ji gave correct oh, totally correct answer of this of that questions which was asked by his fellow so shram sharat chandra chatter ji surprise it is miracle miracle but swami ji says no it is not miracle it is the power of concentration it is the power of concentration so students so youngs means you also develop the power of concentration if you develop the power of concentration then you can finish your 10 hours study within 1 hours and if you have no concentration power of concentration if you can't concentrate your mind then for 1 hour study you have to take 1 uh, 10 hours also you can't because whenever we learn whenever you study from your book your um, your eyes are on the book but your mind have other means it can't concentrate so first thing is very important to learn everything that power of concentrate or concentrate your mind if you concentrate your mind then you can finish your study within a time and this power of concentration leads to you success in each and every sector each and every field so um for encouraging the youth swami ji again says that take up one idea make that idea your life think of it dream of it and live make the life make that idea your life so if you take up one idea and you pass through that idea then you will get success in your life and again swami ji says that whatever work you have faith on that work because the history of world is the history of a few men who have faith themselves means this history has created by those persons those great persons who had faith themselves so faith yourself this is the message of god with you if you 
if you have faith yourself uh, swami ji again says if you faith 33 crore gods and if you do not have faith even you yourself then there is no success in your life but if you faith in yourself then you will get success because it is the mantra of your success so try to faith in yourself and uh, think positively whenever you do any activity any work because i had told you that now friends this is the message for all that you each and every one are running as fast because um, because of technology we have a less time to do our work because each and every sector there are competition competitions so to survive well the fittest according to survive will the fittest we have to do that but swami ji says that all are running very fast but where we where do you want to go as the horse this is happen so one it is the time to listen again a uh, moral story so this is the story of alexander the great when alexander the great was about to about to invade to the india came to india he met to the guru and guru asked you are going to india so one thing i want to ask you to bring to our country so he asked guru so which thing do you want guru from our india so listen india is the purely saints were there there are many saints holy persons in india so bring one saint for our country bring one good saint for our country so alexander the great was surprised yes surely guru i will bring one saint for you and when alexander the great came to india he was searching in a dense forest while he was in india while he was searching a dense forest he saw a person who was doing meditation on the stone on a hillock a searing face was shining on his face and very good scent was that so he recall that uh, guru said us guru told me to bring a good scent for our country so so after meditation was over uh, alexander talk with that scent very uh, alexander was very much on um, very much surprised and got uh, uh, sir, um, get, got inspired by his the knowledge tremendous knowledge of that saint and alexander requested him please come to my country i will give you beautiful palace for living i will give you beautiful dress i will do each and everything for you but you come to your, my country because i have promise to my guru that i will bring a good saint for you so um uh, um uh, alexander requested to saint then saint laughed and asking that why should i come to your country i am very happy here the sky is my shelter i am very in digambar state sky is my shelter and my cloth also i drink a very fresh water of river i do not have any thing i eat fruits 
natural fruits i don't have anything i am very happy here i don't want to go to your country so that was alexander the great a great warrior no one had courage to say to no to him so but but that guru said no refused his proposal so alexander the great great annoyed and he put out the swords and try to kill him but as he put out the uh, sword the guru laughed at him and says you fool you want to do take me your country but you can't uh, kill me as alexander the great put out the sword the um, guru laughed and told him nainam chindati shastrani nainin dehati pavaka so i can't kill by your sword i can't uh, burn by the fire uh, fire i can't melt by the water i am the birthless deathless ever pure peaceful atman so nainam chindati shastrani nainin dehati pavaka na shoshata maruta na jaladi pavaka so i am the bear birthless deathless ever peaceful atman you want to take to me your country i can see your future you are not going to return your country and and history says what happened actually so alexander the great could not could not return to his country he loved his mother as king shivaji loved raj mata jijau alexander also loved his mother he wanted to meet his mother but on the way he had peculiar type of disease and on the way he died so when he returned to his uh, um, uh, minister to the camp so what happened so he requested to the minister that i know that i am not going to reach to our country because i have a few peculiar type of disease and i want to die here and i want i want me to my mother so i request to you just three things i want to fulfill in my life so fulfill my three wishes so he asked minister alexander the great asked to minister that fulfill my three wishes i have three peculiar type of wishes and just then my complete my wishes so minister says you don't say like it i surely fulfill your wishes complete your wishes but don't uh, say like that you are uh, you are being you are getting died here so what is your first wishes so he knew alexander the new that i have collected a lot of wealth a lot of diamonds rubies and pearls i don't carry this wealth with me when after my die after my death so let the whole world receive the message alexander the great came here that first wish that whenever i will die the my coffin should be carried out by the physicians nobody else second when my carry when my coffin should be carried out when my coffin should be carried out all the veils diamonds rubies and emeralds ornaments shall strewn over the path and my coffin should be over that and third when when you put me to the grave my two hands dangling out of the grave so this three wishes i want 
and so fulfill my three wishes so why why you have such type of wishes so me why you are um, asking such type of wishes for that so he alexander the great took a great deep breath and explain each and every wish so when that sage that saint said me that you are not going to reach your country i have a uh, suffer by the peculiar type of diseases and all the doctors and physicians try to save me so whole the world receive that message that no physicians in the world no doctor in the world can save the dying person so whole the world re- receive the message that no one no physician can save the dying person whole world read the receive uh, let the receive that message that no one can no physicians no doctors can save the dying person and second when i die my coffin should be carried out i conquered the world i collected a lot of beautiful diamonds pebbles rubies rubies sapphires but not a single pebble not a single diamond not a single ornament i can carry with me after death so let the whole receive the message let the whole world receive the message that whatever you collect whatever you achieve the wealth no not a single paper not a single diamond can carry with you so whole world receive the message and so my coffin should be carried out whole the world strew strew all the diamonds and pebbles strewn over the path and my coffin should be carried through over it that all the means alexander the great conquest the world he collected the whole world wealth of the world but that wealth of wealth is zero value after the day for let the whole world receive the message now third when my coffin should be carried out showed that all the means uh, alexander the great collected the whole world but he is not carrying the single diamond single pebble single ornament with him because all alexander the great was going empty handed let the receive let the whole world receive the message that alexander the great came he conquered the all world's wealth but he is going empty handed let the whole world receive the message so it is also message for us we collect a lot of wealth pebbles and ornaments but no we can't carry the single pebbles single miss single diamonds with us so let the whole world message so one thing is very important for us that one thing only we carry with up, us after the death which things can you think which thing we can carry with us after death very easy our good karmas we dwell our life for achieving uh, education achieving success achieving means uh, wealth and all thing but no one thing can carry with us after death only one thing with us that is our good karmas so this is the good message from swami yogananda that to be pure and unselfish this is the gist of our religion be and make do build your character do good for our society your good karmas will be your asset and whenever you do good for your society this will be your wealth this will be your asset so this is the message from swami vivekananda so in this way we have learned all that things from the 
message from our great leaders so follow the message of swamiji swamiji again says don't afraid of small beginnings great works come after words don't afraid of small beginnings great work come after words so he who while doing his action can keep his mind calm is the perfect worker while you do your work concentrate to that work and keep calm while doing any actions you will get perfection in that work so lastly swami ji inspired us by his last quotation last message work unto the last work unto the death i am with you when i am gone my spirit will work with you work unto the last this is the good and inspiring message of swami ji in this way we have we are going to conclude this speech with this hindi quotation यह जरूरी नहीं कि हर समय जुबा पर भगवान का ही नाम आए यह जरूरी नहीं हर समय जुबा पर भगवान का ही नाम आए वह लम्बा भी भक्ति का ही होता है जब इंसा इंसा के काम आए वह लम्बा भक्ति का ही होता है जब इंसा इंसा के काम आए थैंक्स फॉर लिसनिंग माय स्पीच एंड ट्राई टू follow the message of swami ji be and make in your life build up your character and build up your nation thank you thanks a lot jai hind jai ma jisau jai swami ji